Oh boy, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. This is one story. I really didn't want to have to bring another one of these stories that are just ultimately depressing. This is a former Marine who was choked Michael Jackson impersonator in the subway. And that shocked New York City and the nation this week. His name is Daniel Penny. He's a 24-year-old surfing enthusiast from West Islip, Long Island. Um, Penny can be seen on the video with his arm around the neck of Jordan Neely who was said to be behaving erratically on the F train about 2.15 on two, uh, Monday. Penny's name circulated Thursday on Twitter. The Daily Mail briefly included his name in a photo captioned on the website Thursday. And the website published an article Friday morning naming Penny. The former senior law enforcement official confirmed to Insider that Penny was the man seen on the video placing Neely in a chokehold before his death. Penny, his family members, and his lawyers didn't respond to phone calls and messages sent Thursday night and Friday morning. He has not been charged with a crime. Now... The encounter was partly captured on video by an independent journalist named Juan Alberto Vasquez. The video shows Penny and two other men holding Neely on the floor of the subway car until Neely stops moving. The New York City's office and medical examiner ruled the death a homicide by compression to the neck. Police questioned but did not arrest Penny. And declined to release his name. So y'all, 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 y'all see what's up. Now I, this video is for um, all good heart people, in particular, and black folk more specific. These people gonna turn up on y'all, on us so much that we gonna be forced. We gonna be forced. Because we have been scared out of our very nature and we're going to be forced to do something about it. Now, first of all, there's no way in the world I could have been on a train and watching somebody getting the life choked out of them and I'll just sit there and, and, and don't do nothing about it. I always said, and y'all seen I did the video, the same thing with George Floyd. Why... Are we not having natural responses? Are we this scared of this beast? Are we this scared? Are we this much of a coward, a warrior class people who are this afraid? You can't get a can out the store and throw it at uh, Derek Chauvin and hit him in the head? You couldn't have stopped this man from choking this man on the subway? And was nothing you could do but sit there and watch? And for all the ones that got up that help, help kill the man in front of y'all damn faces and y'all ain't do shit. But watch. What a sadly heightened event. And, and, and look, this man should not be able, he's like George Zimmerman. Now, all of you uh, Bloods and Crips and all of y'all who run out here and threaten and intimidate your own people, I don't want to hear nothing from y'all. Matter of fact, I don't give a damn what they do to y'all until y'all start doing something about this shit that's happening right here in our communities. Now we can get this white boy to just get up and just go choke somebody because he didn't. Have, he felt he had enough. The man ain't touched nobody. He didn't put his hands on anybody, but because he was acting erratic, this white boy felt he had the the the, the audacity, the gumption, the cojones to choke the life out of him. And no nobody on that damn F train did a fucking thing. 
Shame on you, black people. Shame on you, brown people. Shame on you. And any good thinking, fair thinking white person, shame on you. He should have been stopped. He gets to choke the life out of somebody? Okay, come on. All right. Uh, maybe it's me. Maybe I just can't comprehend no more. Because this stuff right here, my generation wouldn't put up with this kind of shit. Period. Okay, an eye for an eye. That's all I can say. With that being said, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I'll see y'all in the next video.